Yeah, folks, welcome back. So we're finally ready to go into the next chapter. Better equipped, higher level. Leaving a trail of dead absolute in her wake. It's like we need to make camp so people want to talk. Yeah. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss that she may truly know her faithful. Don't touch me. With pleasure. Oh my gosh. You know, I complain about failed rolls, but how many do I actually fail? I don't know. I'm fighting ones. Ones during combat, I know I fail a lot and miss a lot. These treasure chests and trap unlocks, I don't fail that many of them. That, that, and that. I don't need the torches. They all got torches. Alright, let's see what's happening in camp. Playtime's over. This time of year, the dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil, and a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting them out. He's going to be her usual snarky self. <laughs> well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. <laughs> Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. And what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now... Why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? See if I can pass some rolls here.
You recall an old incantation from a children's story, said to void a devil's contract. Abi diabole et numquan ready. seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. Bravo! <laughs> Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. What's some punk in there, dude? God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? I think she needs a little chastising. forget what Will did. Not ever. I'm here because of him. And I'd do just about anything to help him. But devils never lose. You know that, right? Sure, they'll give you a bit of tat here and there. But the house always wins. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it, but I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can already feel her scheming. She won't let me go without a fuss. Trust me on this. The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the Inferno the demonic and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> Everybody else has to say. Shah's blessings upon you. Her? Tell me, what can I do for you? This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. 
I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. Help me find him, and you'll find out. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for. All in due time, but not now. I'm sure he'll turn up at one point or another. What? what approval rating with a Starian. Keep a blade close. Ah. Still neutral, but it's hovering above hate. He just does not like Starian. Let's see. Oops. Let's move. I and got like a, a brother sister thing going on. They can't, they like each other, can't stand each other at the same time. Greetings. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Is that all of I think so. What does he have to say? I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking, and I've been doing just that. It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this. A preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to, well, me. Hmm. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again. But I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. You do it then. You'd look for him. That's <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. I know you've learned about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder, but do you know what it truly is? Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth. A substance so powerful it could fell a city. A nation. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real. And they have it in their possession. Destruction. The only thing it's good for. Destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wolbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lot get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. I haven't been there myself. The area around it is, well, cursed. Terrifyingly so. I did hear something interesting, though. There are shades that plague the path to the towers. Shades 
that fear not steel, but light. Dwergar, who mentioned it, sounded truly traumatized. It was almost amusing. I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserve that. Thank you. Like what? What else he has to say? Barkus Root is my name. Baldur's Gate is my home. Back in the city, I offered my expertise to the highest bidder. I was quite popular, too. I'm not picky about my customers. Alchemist, tinkerer, adventurer, curmudgeon. <laughs> I wear many hats, most with great enthusiasm. Thank you for noticing. I suppose I... I suppose I'd be very, very sad. Then, after a while, I'd find whoever killed him and put a smoke powder bomb in their trousers. See if Halson has anything new to say. I mean, I'm not sure where he is. Yeah. A shadow curse is upon us, as foul as I remember it, perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being, in the form of a young fey boy, with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the shadow fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness, but one I couldn't do without. Thank you. You're too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? Rotting in the goblin cells? Dying against an onslaught on the grove? More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. Yes, I think you do. Forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creations.
that everybody? Yes, that was everybody, I believe. Right. Oh, no, Carlyle. No, we talked to Carlyle. Okay. The voice of the Absolute is strong here. And getting stronger. The hell is he wearing? How much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. That outfit looks awful. You took an Oops. unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. Looks like some kind of woman's jumper. of telepathic energy wave after wave with hardly a breath between them i almost dare not rest each wave a set of orders to the infected the order for your transformation has been given many times already This burden is one I have to carry alone. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. you're on my side I am the only one who can resist the absolutes influence hence its fear of me it's it's desperation unfortunately that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval the task ahead is monumental we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. We are ready to venture forth. Moving forward, what does that we say? offer ourselves to the darkness, that blessed Shah may give us her mercy. I know some of this. So like the, the last part of Act 1, I have an alternate tune that I go through things on. Sometimes they help me work out strategies for my Let's Play video here. So I know some of this stuff. I know where to where to go for a lot of it. 
and uh, I but I still discover new stuff on her sometimes that I've missed on my other tunes. So oh, I have the magic touch. Buff up. Poor old scratch in there. We don't last long. I wish he would level up. Get some more hit points. At least 20, 25 hit points. But he's a good distraction sometimes. Broken moon later. Better be careful around here. This is no ordinary darkness. It feels powerful and familiar. These lands have been blessed by Lady Shah. You must learn more about her presence here. I've never seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. Alas, it's the only path to Moonrise Towers. We have to push into the dark. Right. Ah, excellent choice. Watch your back. No time to rest. I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. The shadow curse... It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Darkness is the truth, Selunike. In the end, there will only be endless black. And those that Lady Shah has embraced. Cling to your torches and memories of the sun if you like. See how long you last without me. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. He still wants to talk. This place. There's a power in these shadows. I can sense it. It's ancient. 
familiar. Everything, potentially. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justice here is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, mother, I should add. Three-handed conversation. The mother superior. Head Maybe of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable I don't know perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. For this, I hope my time will yet come. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Yes, it didn't have that conversation. So maybe it was on my other character. more camp supplies, which reminds me, there's some I need to send back. Oh. Shadow curse? I truly hope this blight isn't spreading. Oh. 
Brave. Stay together. Keep to the light. Stop! Who's there? I'll be the judge of that. Stow your weapons, put your hands up, and walk into the light, slowly. Jonas, move in! voice come back to the light who's there Meg? is that And Jamuk. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but. Lost well, scratch right away. Shit. Make every strike 
but he could misty step. <laughs> oh crap. It's not. to keep going. One around here somewhere. Two. to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat.
That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! Better if it's just left alone. This place is protected. Must be the refuge the Harpers spoke of. They all want to die the I've never seen such a concentration of shadow magic. We must forge on, but carefully. It will corrupt any who lack the power to control it. suspect we define the word differently but nonetheless this is a place where it's best applied this magic is dangerous it is the very antithesis of all the weave stands for a magic of confusion and corruption drawn forth only by those desperate or damned enough to accept its degradations followers of mistra those who call on the true weave are expressly forbidden to indulge it Mistra's domain is the weave and the magic that courses through it. These shadows were drawn from another source, created by another goddess, Shah. Mistra cannot destroy it even if she wishes to, but she can try to ensure her followers resist its temptations. Now, I think it's time we moved on to lighter subjects, for we too are lost to the darkness. Was there anything else? Shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. Hmm. Mm. I applaud your taste. Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh, God, blood, this is heavy. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. She's with me. Come. Jahira. Hello. Absolutely. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Stop! What's she doing? She's the one who saved us! She's the one who protects... 
protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Save two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? is that thing congratulations you've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt hear me harpers all clear at ease i'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is but I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too if you require rest. Elo oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. You know, one thing that... The only real thing I've been... Disappointed about this... Is that there's so many opportunities... That there's so many opportunities. He's half grown to bring that up somehow. A half draw doing good. Oh, pragmatism. Thy name is Shadowheart. You're not wrong, though. Best we keep our sojourn here to a minimum. But, uh, anyway, I think I interrupted what they're saying. They may say it again. There's more where that came from. But anyway, there's been so many opportunities to bring up the fact that she's half dro But she doesn't follow the teachings of dro The only two that have ever brought it up are Minartha, Min Minartha and uh, oh, Zevlor that she's dro or half dro but Anyway, uh... I got lots to do here. I'm sure there's merchants. Yeah, there's merchants. They need to camp and rest up. So uh, I'm going to pause it here because this is going to take me a while. I got to sell stuff, and look for new merchants, new gear, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then we'll be back. Alright, so here's a break from my pause from selling stuff. So we can do. We can get Carlix squared away here. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago. Over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Right. Hey, it's Adam. Let's say hi. Looks like that odd ox 
made it through the shadows. Karlak! I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Well, all right. This shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. So did it work? Only one way to find out. Thank you. I can't believe it. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but... At this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Yeah. Apart from the doom and gloom, you've given me more than I could ever hope to repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? This is the best day. The best day! I'm so happy for me, too. Now, I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast.
Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. You heard Damon. There is no solution. It's hell or bust. I choose bust. But I don't want to talk about this now. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Let me enjoy that, please. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this. At least for a little. Out of animal speaking potions. Like. Speak to animals, I think. Thought she could. Yeah. Horse failed it. I use inspiration. and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Time for some bloody work. <laughs> Thank you. 
game. Still alive for that progress. Ugh. Just when I think I've seen it all, at least it's dead now. I thought it was you. Saving my skin again, I see. Never seen a shapeshifted ox before. But I'm glad you dealt with it before it dealt with us. I'm glad to see you're all right. The way here was anything but easy, eh? A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons, but no one has earned my trust if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When Elturel was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me, I won't say I enjoyed my time there. But it was certainly instructional. Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. show that to you. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Need anything? It's perfect. Really. Just a moment. I'll be able to work this one quickly. show that to you. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Need anything? Well, well, well. I knew I smelled something, and I know just what to do with it. One moment. show that to you. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Wait. Seems like a good moment to talk. Need anything? Using something that's already fabricated is tough, but I can try. How many do you have? I thought I sniffed American scent somewhere. These must have been a pain to get a hold of. American masks are brittle, so what I make won't last as long as my usual pieces. And 
there. Be careful who sees you using that. Might draw the wrong sort of eyes. Alright. So the helmet. Shadow mark. Who's gonna wear the gloves? Remember? Do some coloring on it. Another cape I have an idea about getting. Maybe it won't flip as bad. This him. Hold on to that. Yes. Add on. I think this one will be more beneficial. Yeah. Well, hello. No time to dally. Attention. We'll talk to some people. Yes, I got car like with me. I'm utilizing that mod. Will be put away soon. Welcome to our humble. Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh. I want to learn how to fight back, too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ah! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. It is, isn't it? Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Premium tr Check it out! We've gone legitimate, and Mol put me in charge. What do you need? Good way to armor load. Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. I don't have no re-rolls. She always says the stuff I like is junk. 
I'm gonna make a killing on this. You'll see. Last night's best bargains, right here. What can I get you? I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? What about it? This is a <clears throat> valuable piece, so it's gonna cost a lot. And that is non nego non The price isn't changing. Yes! That's my first negotiation. Here. Pleasure doing business with you. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Ooh, he's got real quick. For something special? Like, you might have some legitimate arrows. Arrows, fairest thing. Pleasure doing business with you. Premium trinkets and doodahs. Don't wander far. We need to talk. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God. To your very good health. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it's an honor, milady. I will gladly drink to your health as well, Garlack. Receive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. You don't know what you're missing. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? Got no reroll. God damn it. I find that decidedly hard to believe. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village. Only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Gadric Thorn. Remember that name. 
He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorne live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. All right. This is where we'll pause it and uh, do some more equipment stuff, and and we'll continue on with more conversation. Alright, so after that pause, there's still a bit of talking to do around town. In her armors, I colored her up. And it colored the way I wanted. I think it's a good fit for her. It's good. Got a new cloak. Shadowheart's cloak was her cloak. I have no bonuses to it. It's from the uh, digital deluxe, but this one adds, I think, armor. Whoop. Plus one of her saving throw. I only had gave it to her instead of Shadowheart, because Shadowheart already has a 19 plus she's got. Let's, best bargains right here. let's talk to people. Never a dull moment. Group looking pretty fashionable. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap, only for me to land them in this one. Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed, out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Several froze. Begged us to surrender. But... They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Z 
Devlaw had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. You're all right. Thank goodness. I was worried they got you too. Honestly, terribly. I still can't believe it. The cultists. The screams. Roland of all people. Saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him... Well, none of us would be here. Yes. He shielded me and the kids. Well, his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Roland isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? We're in the same boat then. That's somewhat of a comfort. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful out there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. We'll leave soon. We don't want any surprises. Yes, Mom. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Cute. Maybe she'll write a ballad about me. She can leave out the part where my brother and sister were dragged away screaming while I was saving the orphans. If you hadn't filled their heads with all that self-righteous heroic crap at the Grove, none of this would have happened. Sorry I won't bring them back. You go save the world. Or your own ass, or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. If this is about Roland, go away. Like he wished we weren't here. Like he wished he hadn't saved us. And now we're just trying to save him from drinking himself stupid. Yeah. He did save us after all. Anyway, it's his loss. this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. It's for Roland.
<laughs> See how low this roll is. Oh, uh, stand a chance. There we go. Guess you can have it then. I don't care. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye bye. These kids are brat. Well, if it's a magic book, let's give it to Charmed, I'm sure. Hey, no. Yeah, nothing. Looking ahead. There's a little brat. There he is. I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. He didn't like it then either. Raphael. You're welcome and all, but uh, I got to chat with Bigger Fish. Later. It's good to see you again. I'd ask if you've made any progress with your little problem, but the telltale twitching of your eye is answer enough. You flatter yourself. <laughs> You're not the only soul of interest in this ruin. This is Last Light, where hope hangs on by a single withered thread. I can mend it or cut it, depending on what they ask for. They're not the only ones ripe for temptation, you know. My last contract here fed me for decades. Family troubles. Not my family, of course. I never surrender knowledge for free. But one good turn deserves another, does it not? To repay you for the soul sent my way, I offer a taste of the truth. Catherick Thorne, proud father, man of faith, utter fool. On the night the harpers sealed him away, Someone murdered his entire army in cold blood. Now who would possibly benefit from such a massacre? If you want to know more, I could work the exchange of such precious knowledge into the terms of your future deal. But the time for quibbling over clauses and contracts hasn't quite arrived. You'll be limping back to me soon enough. Not with you, at least. Although I sense there's something your friend wants to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? If you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. <laughs> it burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. Well, well, a long time ago, Someone carved some ruins into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. You haven't told them? And you've kept your clothes on this whole time? <laughs> How unlike you. Why not let them see? Don't be shy. 
God damn it. Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Well, now you know. It could be infinitely worse. We seem rather good at killing things. Let's just go. Standing here chatting gets us nowhere. Although I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> I thought I'd scout ahead, check for any nasty surprises, of which I found a great deal. Shades, death, harpers, flaming fist, and this, of course, and the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. There's a recipe I'm trying to replicate, something that might help you that is if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others in that case you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you a new type of smoke powder all the bang and boom of the original but with an extra surprise I call it the brilliant retort you'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place you'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there, you'll need it. If you're going to save Wolbrin. Let's call a thing a thing. A Deep Gnome won't get far into the Absolute's orgy of evil. We already learned that in the Underdark with those sadistic Dwergar, didn't we? It's doubly true in this place. You, on the other hand, have proven resourceful in such infiltrations. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. Let's not ruin the surprise, hmm? You... you do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Have a gander at the finest stock. Still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. We believe the cultists have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you found a way in. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them.
The steel watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the steel watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse or the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. <laughs> You, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. A century locked inside a shower and curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who'll want to be seeing you. No. Not till I met Art, anyway. Seems to be all he remembers. This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years, anyway. Thank you. Hmm. Looks official. So we need to go talk to Housen. And suppose we'll do a long rest while we're at it. Copper for your thoughts. Like I got something back. Something I've wanted for a really long time. When I touched you, I felt like a real person. My heart was racing, but I didn't hurt you. I don't have to be afraid of myself anymore. I don't have to hold back. <laughs> Not sure the world's ready for unleashed Karlak, but it's getting it anyway. Thanks to Damon. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks to fate. Ugh. I don't want to think about that now. Misery always overstays its welcome, and joy leaves too soon. I'll cry later, but not now. Touch! Touch 
touch everything. Touch everyone that'll let me. Shake hands, dance a waltz, maybe even kiss a face or two if I find a good candidate. The world's my fun house. Me too, soldier. Gods, me too. For every knock we take, I feel like I get a little treat just to keep me going. Else the same. Hey, soldier. Ooh. Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on thy quest. Seeking the comforts of the flesh. Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. If death is soon to take Karlak, she should make every moment as rich as the last. Fight viciously, roar loudly, step boldly. She must make herself known. Make the talk to Asterion. Over here. to speak he is then I must see him insensible or not he knows something I will go to see him at once join me when you can Beautiful it must be to know you can hold a hand, caress a cheek after going so long without. We'll get Karlak fixed up, right? There's always a way. There has to be. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at moonrise. I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked farther from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tear's heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravengard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin, unless we put a stop to it. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. Have anything else to say? Well, man. Nope. I know well the pain of seeing your life's hourglass running empty. Grasping at any means of slowing the grains as they slip inexorably through your fingers. Karlak's fate may be ordained, but her actions are not. 
She will make each breath count. You can be sure of that. Thank you. Tell me, what can I do for you? Finally, seek out the touch of another, only to be told she might not have much time left. Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Lady yes. of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. I just that you have a big heart. You like doing what's right. So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads? Try to think outside the box just a little. Consider the parasites in our skulls and think how many others have the mind flayers infected. Hundreds. Thousands. And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. Power is just a tool. It's people that are good or evil. And even they can be a little bit, um... I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. So much for thinking you had ambition. Still, we're not there yet. Maybe you'll see the light yet. So. Oh. The untouchable Karlak is untouchable no more. I shake her hand, but she can still snap me in two, so uh, uh, probably safest to skip it. I don't think he has anything else. Yes. Everybody, I believe so. Rest up. Goodness, is it all that bad? I'm dreadfully out of practice. No better time to brush upon my skills then. 
It would do me no good to fail my new partner. As luck would have it, she just arrived. May I have this dance? Are you sure? I've been rehearsing, you know. I'd hate to put all that effort to waste. I mean, yes, of course. The sun only rests for so long. Let's go meet up with House and oh, Shadowheart wants to talk again yeah, now. Okay. Jahira wants to know about Safari. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I could have sworn we'd done all this before. I'm sure. Maybe not. Trust you. remember how it started only how it ended I was fleeing She asked my name. Can't remember what I said. Can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. That's all I remember. You remember that it is common among Saluma's followers to send their children into the woods alone, a rite of passage to find their way home. Perhaps this one has gone awry. <laughs> You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble, that's all. Just because Salunites claim something doesn't mean they own it. Normally, I'd agree, but with you, it's getting easier by the moment.
Maybe it was another game. Maybe. I don't remember. I had to watch back episodes. <laughs> You know, as a, maybe they didn't. I know they were having a conversation and Shadowheart got angry because of the, her bringing up being a, a Salunite. So I'd get for playing a couple different saves and get them mixed up. He'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. I don't deserve you, my friend. Buff up before I forget. Salutations. He yeah, learned a bunch of spells. Let's see what we got. I need both. I need both. You know what I'm keeping? It's a reaction. So I have. Oh, yeah, Misty Step Up. There's three on the two from the Scorching Rain. We get a lot of daggers. Mirror image. Or spells we got. Find for me. We'll get him with the familiar going. 
that scorching ray, I don't need magic missiles. Those magic missiles don't miss. They don't do as much damage. Is there another crowd control item I can use? I will remove curse. back up. You know, I didn't want all these scrolls out here, but kind of well, because it'll save some spell slots. Ask some of these. Alright, just making some little adjustments. Good. What's this? Well, there's arrows. All right. Up there. All right. So he can misty step. He's got misty step. He does not have misty step. Have a lot on my mind. Okay. Misty Step is probably one of the most useful things. Alright, so we'll talk to that priestess. Well, I'm going to save it real quick because I've done a lot of stuff. Alright, so we're going to go up there and talk to the priest, but we need to buff up. Lost in thought.
Anyway, I almost forgot. Got fine for me or with him now, I think. Or, uh. Visibility and scare. Okay. Let's get going. Get poor scratch out here. I need to move my buttons around there. God dang it. Keeping a tank there. Throw them in a tank range. I'm going to attack immediately. The bonus action. This is neither action nor bonus action. Okay. Alright. Let's go talk to that priest. Work. I know what's coming. Listen. It's not an easy fight. No one stopped me yet. Don't be shy. Have a gallery. This is actually my second attempt. Often for she's sick. 
Wonder Deck. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good news. Like a nasty little terrier. Look <laughs> at this shell heart to look. <laughs> Ketherick is a frightening man, but you have something he doesn't allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to. Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel.
All right, what's he going to do? Oh. <sighs> hey, he's got no weapon now. When I tried that in the first attempt, it didn't work. doing on health. Turn undead. Get her healed. He's only got 17 hit points left. And a chance. Good concentration. Can only do it once.
still breathing, despite everything. Wasted on that. At least I know how to how it works now. This should work. Nothing important is ever easy. The cattle heart saved the day here for it. some friendly fire. Oh, 
What she ain't doing much right now. There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Quite thrilling to fight off such grim creatures as this region throws at us, especially being at your side. I um once read a book that explained in some detail the effect a brush with danger has on one's desire for uh, other forms of stimulation. Have you ever read anything on that subject? I believe you. You never look so beautiful as at the end of a stirring battle. Your cheeks flushed, gaze bright, muscles glistening. Perhaps it's just the thrill of our near undead experience talking. But standing at your side through such darkness and disrepair, it only makes me want you more. Unfortunately, this is neither the time nor the place to indulge such feelings, so you must be patient and push all such thoughts aside. For now. Was there anything else you wish to discuss? Hell, you horny bastard. Maybe we should ask someone else. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederik will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive... I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you... I hope I won't have to. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. First crack? I think he died in the first round. Didn't even get a chance to buy it at anybody. His weapon. Feel it, but I do want to read it. <laughs> when did you turn? Why? Yeah. 
be a good thing as well. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow cursed harpers. Go on then. It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Cuthric. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Shah and Shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. Well, student she's a saloon, I don't know. We'll do that just to get Moon and Shadow, light and dark, divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes Life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Of course, she is a Selenite, so she knew all that. Yeah. Very good. No surprise to find a traitor among the flaming fist. Honor isn't their strong suit. We don't even know the way to Moonrise. That's why we should leave now. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap, and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Then speak. Ugh, some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods or laying with them, depending on the bard. Volothan Kedarm? Oh, that old fraud should be dust a century past. But then, lies live forever, and he's half made of this stuff. You'll have to sing that one for me when all of this is done. In any case, it was a lifetime ago by now. And for all our victories, we remain on the back foot. We fight, we die. And we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. The songs would have you believe we saved the realms entire. Perhaps we did. They simply refused to stay saved. Mo would do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. We could. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than shadows. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at her. She's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. 
fine. But you gotta understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. I just went back what they were doing. Okay, well, let's go to camp and see if people have anything to say. I have to rest up after spending all their abilities. What's on your mind? Greetings. You again. Steve just his reaction. What a day. You look at his Approval rating. <laughs> no strong feelings. <laughs> no time to rest. I think he's going to end up killing him in the end. Shah's blessings upon you. I'm sorry. I might have come on a little strong with the dance invitation. I was imagining my younger days, prancing about without a care in the world. We may never be dance partners, but we have fellowship, and I wouldn't trade that for all the gold in the gate-counting house. Well, that's enough sentiment for one day. What did you need? The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Tell me, what can I do for you? You, Brazil, Carlac, Asterian, and the rest. Uh, we'll go ahead and call it here for this episode. There's a lot of talking, not a whole lot of action, but or a lot of story going. So, uh, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be good to each other. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next video.